Hey guys, welcome back to Great Toys Gaming. This is Savage Lionel. Today, I'll be showing you how to make a Yiga Blade Master and Foot Soldier from Breath of the Wild in Tab's Unit Creator. I'm always making more Tab's videos, so please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And with that, let's get into it. Let's start with the Yiga Blade Master. The Yiga Blade Masters in Breath of the Wild are really big, so I made them very big in tabs. I usually like to start with the Tab G Balaclava. Then the spooky hood for the hood around the Yiga Blade Master's head. Next up is the Pattern Mask. You'll be able to choose from many different symbols, but I chose this diamond-shaped one because I feel it looks most like the one in Breath of the Wild. Let's give him the Tab G Hair 03. Make sure you make the collar red because it comes with a collar. Here's the medieval chest armor in all its glory. Lots of different colored details in this one. I added a Tab G Shirt 01. That really just fills a gap in his neck. I chose the Samurai Wrist Guard with blades. Xing xing! I think they look really cool and very accurate. I chose the Wild West Gloves 02. That's my Wild West accent. <laughs> Here are the Vlad pants and shoes. I feel like they look very similar to the Yiga Blade Master's pants. Now, to make the spiky shoes, I chose the Fantasy Evil Shoes 00. The Yiga Blade Master has some golden detail on his armor, and it was hard to think of how to replicate that. But here I am using the Monk Beaded Necklace, oh oh. I think it does a pretty good job. And that's the look. The Void Monarch Claymore, our fake wind cleaver. But now we have to add the abilities. I chose the Assassin Poof because the Yiga like disappearing and then reappearing behind you and then ching, slicing you in half. And the Tornado Swipes are a replication of the abilities of the Wind Cleaver. That's the Yiga Blade Master's look. Finished! Say cheese! Now we're done with that, let's move on to the Yiga Foot Soldier. Now for most of my units, I don't use a voice, but for this one, I thought I needed to use a ninja voice. Just like with the Yiga Blade Master, I chose the Tab G Balaclava 00 to start it off. Then, the same pattern mask. The Yiga Foot Soldier has a sort of, maybe, ponytail, and to replicate that, I chose the Chinese hair 00. I've also given him the Fantasy Good Earrings 00. I chose the Samurai Shirt to cover the Wobbler skin, and also, he needs a shirt! Next up are the Legacy Pants 02. I chose the Wilmule gloves and made them red. Just like with the Yiga Blade Master, the Yiga Foot Soldiers also have a sort of samurai wrist guard, so I used the same cosmetic. Here's the Knight's Thigh Armor 00. I also added the Knight Knee Armor 
to finish the set. I chose the fancy evil shoes. And here's the medieval shoulder pad, 01. And that's the look. But we need a weapon as well. We need the vicious sickle. But we've taken care of that by customizing the Kopesh. And here are the abilities. Just like with the Yiga Blade Master, I chose two assassin poofs. A cavalry charge! The jester kick, because I think Yiga foot soldiers can kick. And the quick draw projectile dodge. Say cheese! Okay, let's test them both out. Let's start off with a battle of the enemies. A Yiga Blade Master leading a troop of Yiga foot soldiers fighting against Link and a few cuckoos. Let's hope this one doesn't get hectic. And that's the tornado swipe. Look how much bigger he is compared to Link. He looks like a giant compared to him. The cuckoos and the foot soldiers have been taken out. It's a matter of time. Who will win? Yiga Blade Master down. Link is the last one standing. That's it from me today. Let me know in the comments if there are any other characters you'd like to see me make in tabs. This is Savage Lionel, signing out. The Battle of the Gigantic Titans. Lots of funny things in this one.